Who is Nyame? What is his origin? Welcome to the Sankofa Pan African series. Please support us through Patreon and by buying me coffee. Don't just subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification button, share our videos, and check out our website, sankofastorybooks.com, for history, Afrocentric stories, and other resources for children. Nyame is a deity or supreme being in the traditional religion of the Akan people of Ghana and Ivory Coast. While the exact origin of Nyame may be shrouded in myth and legend, his importance to the Akan people remains strong to this day as a symbol of wisdom, power, and guidance. Nyame is revered and respected by the Akan people who continue to honor him through their spiritual practices and cultural traditions. Originally, the word Nyame may have just meant the sky. In Akan mythology, the origin of Nyame is linked to the creation of the universe. According to one myth, Nyame emerged from the primordial chaos that existed before the world was created. As the supreme being, Nyame was responsible for bringing order and structure to the universe and for creating all living things. In some uh, Akan creation uh, narrative, Nyame created Osoro, heaven, Asase, earth. Apologies for my uh, mispronunciations. Um, Osoro has been linked by some believers to Osiris, while Asase is linked to Isis in Egyptian mythology. And some Akan people believe that Inyame is one part of a trinity which consists of Inyame, Inyankopon, and Odoma Koma. To such people, Inyame represents the natural universe. Inyankopon represents its kra or life giving power, and Odoma Koma represents the creative force that made the physical world. The name Nyame is thus used interchangeably by people who believe in this triad with Nyankopon or, uh, and uh, Odomankoma. While some Akan speaking people make a clear distinction between Nyame and Nyankopon, they identify Nyame as the female element symbolized by the moon and Nyankopon as the male element symbolized by the sun. Other Akan people identify Nyame as the male, while others believe that he is both male and female. Again, there are similarities here with Osiris as male and Isis as female in Egyptian mythology, and some Akan embrace the idea that Nyame is composed of male and female duality and works through the male-female uh, creative process. Like in other traditional African belief systems, the Akan have many mythical stories about Nyame. One is used to illustrate why humans are mortal. It is believed that in ancient times, when Nyame still lived on earth, human beings did not like the idea of dying. So they decided to send a messenger to Nyame to complain and ask him to make them immortal. They sent a ship as their emissary along with a dog to accompany the ship. But the dog decided to give the ship a head start because he knew that the ship could not move as fast as he could. On the way to Nyame, the ship was distracted by some delicious tasting grass where an old woman had thrown away some salt that had become damaged by water. She threw the salt into the bush just outside her village 
and the salty water seeped into the ground and the bush and the and the bushes and the grass there became so delicious that when sheep tasted them he could not stop eating meanwhile dog who had set off after sheep swiftly made his way to nyame in his haste to get there he did not notice the sheep who was busy eating the delicious grass just outside the village leading up to nyame's abode Dog wasted no time reaching Inyame. He told him that he and the sheep had been sent to deliver a message to him. Inyame asked what the message was. Unfortunately for human beings, however, Dog had not heard the message correctly. Dog told him that human beings said that they wished to remain dead when they died and not return to the earth. Nyame granted the request and Dog immediately set off to go and give humans what he considered to be good news. On his way back, however, he ran into sheep who were still grazing and enjoying the salty grass. He told sheep the message he had delivered to Nyame. The sheep was alarmed that he had made such a huge mistake. Together, they both hurried back to Nyame to give him the correct message. But he refused to go back on his initial word to grant the first request that was delivered by dog. And that is why human beings die and do not come back to the earth. Now, the Akan people believe that Inyame created the world through a process of divine creation. This process involved the use of various elements such as water, earth and air which Nyame molded and shaped into the world that we know today. Nyame also created the first humans and gave them the gift of intelligence, language, uh, the ability to communicate. Nyame is therefore considered the patron deity of diplomacy and negotiation. He is associated with rain, and uh, fertility, and is sometimes invoked for good harvests and successful pregnancies. They also believe that Nyame is responsible for the natural cycles of life, such as the changing of the seasons, and that he controls the fate of all individuals. It is believed that Nyame did not only create all things, but that he is continually creating and restructuring the universe. The names of some other um, African deity, um, such as Nyambi, Zambi, or Nzame from East Africa, are believed to be related to Nyame. Nyame is believed to be all seen, all knowing, all powerful, all satisfying, all majestic. All brilliance. He is one in one and yet many and spiritually visible everywhere. He is everything and he is all things in one and one thing in all. In the Akan belief system, Inyame is self created and cannot be created outside all the things that he owns. His order of creation contains life, death, forgiveness, punishment, duality, which is tied to the African roots of uh, duality, polarity, and contradiction in cognition. The Akan believe that Nyame created all other gods and mankind. Some lesser gods, like Abosum, are said to be descendants of Nyame through his sons, Apo, Bear, Bosomtwe, and Tano, who are responsible for overseeing the day-to-day -day activities of humans on the earth. Now, Nyame is depicted as a powerful and just God who rewards those who live good lives and punishes those who are wicked. He is also believed to be the source of wisdom and knowledge and is often called upon by the Akan people to guide them in their daily lives. 
the worship of Nyame is an important part of the traditional religion of the Akan people. And it involves various rituals, ceremonies, and practices that are designed to honor and connect with this supreme deity. Akan traditional prayers or invocations start with a Twe Dia Mpong, Odoman Koma, Obo Adi, Nana Nyame, or which means uh, all powerful in Yakopong, Odomakoma, the infinite creator, the grand ancestor Nyame. One of the most common practices in the worship of Nyame is the pouring of libations. Libations are, of course, a type of offering in which a liquid, usually water or alcohol, is poured onto the ground as a way of showing respect and gratitude to Nyame. The Yakan people believe that libations help to establish a connection between the human and divine worlds and that they help to ensure the blessings and protection of uh, Nyame. Another important aspect of the worship of Nyame is the offering of sacrifices. These sacrifices may include animals, food, or other items that are believed to be pleasing to Nyame. The Akan people believe that by offering these sacrifices, they demonstrate their devotion and loyalty to Nyame, and that they will in turn receive blessings um, and protection. In addition to these practices, the worship of Nyame also involves the use of symbols and sacred uh, objects. For example, the Akan people often wear and carry special charms or amulets that are believed to provide protection, uh, protection by and uh, guidance uh, from Nyame. They may also use certain symbols or images in their artwork and architecture to honor and represent Nyame. Overall, the worship of Nyame is a deeply spiritual and meaningful practice for the Akan people. It helps them to feel connected to the divine, to express their gratitude and devotion, and to seek blessings and protection from this powerful and benevolent deity. Thanks for watching. Please support us through Patreon and by buying me coffee uh, so we can continue to bring you this um, series. Subscribe if you've not yet done so. And turn on your notification buttons. Don't forget to share our videos with all your contacts and keep those comments coming.